So we're about a third of the way through the, the uh, season here in Latvia, and um, things look to be going pretty well so far. Welcome back to Tuna Travels. <laughs> Yeah, so welcome back, and you can see here, we've been unbeaten so far this season. A couple of draws after that first game um, that we played of the season, that disappointing draw, but we've really made up for that since then. But we do finally got his first goals. It was 16 hours of football before he scored these two against Spartax. Two goals in two minutes to give us a 2-0 victory and all three points. Followed by another 2-0 victory, Tom's Fyodorov and Gabriel Boadu scoring the two goals in this one over RFS. Then we got our revenge against Yel Vaga. Um, Clotty with the penalty in the 50th minute. These really have put up a fight so far this season in the couple of games we played against them. Lipadja, who were doing pretty well. I think they were third when we played this game. We were first, they were third. We beat them 5-0. Bowdu opened the score just before half-time. Dembo, two from Dai and a Clotty penalty, giving us a comprehensive victory. 1-0 victory over Valmira, uh, Di scoring. The only goal of the game in this one in the 25th minute. They'd already lost the game before this. So we'd managed to open a pretty healthy gap ahead of them. Meta, the other team that was predicted to finish above us. Bowdu, Dembo, Gabriel and Tiam sentenced them to a 4-0 defeat. Um, and a very, very good game. You can see since Bowdu had scored them first couple of goals, he's been on absolute fire. And he added another one in this game here against Noah. Uh, in the fifth minute, the only goal of the game, Maya was sent off of them as well. We then dropped points once more against Vince Bielis, 1-1. Belovs put them ahead and an 86th minute penalty was needed to um, to seal a point in that one for us. Before comfortable victories once again, 4-0 over Yelvadja this time. Bowadu, uh, Tommy Fjordrov's penalty, Dembo and TM scored in this one. For Dembo and a clotty 95th minute penalty, rounding out 2-0 victory over Tuckham's. And then the last time out was 3-0 over RFS, Boadu, Gabriel and Carmo all scoring. So this is how the table is looking at the moment. You can see it's very, very comfortable. We have 10 point advantage over Valmira, who we played in that second game today. Today's first opponent, Spartax, are really struggling um, down there. You can see Boadu is currently the second top scorer. He's five goals behind Lionel Womba, who... Um, I don't think was interested in us. I think I remember asking his assistant manager to try and... Uh, his agent, sorry. And he wasn't interested. But we'll have a look at this game. Um, and this is the team that we are going with for today's game. No, it's not because it's changed my team around again. Brilliant. Um, so we had... Uh, Pukov was in up top. Jose had come out for Carmo. Actually, let's put Clotty in there. Oh, no, that's what... Yep. I picked this team last night, so now I can't remember who goes in where. Uh, let's take him out of there. Kaka came out for Muemi. And Solo Jobs went in for Dansu Pekerson. So yeah, we, we've had, obviously, a clump of games. So um, I've been trying to rotate some players in and out. You see people like Cristaldo are unhappy. So I do want to try and get him some game time. We're actually going to start him, I think, over Dembo. Um, this is our chance to, you know, like I say, rest some players. And we should beat Spartax regardless. Um, I think Arab went on to that wing maybe as well. And yeah, seal with that was a six chains from last time out. Um, the most of the focus is on that Valmera game. We lose that, then they're right back in the hunt again. Um, with them still to play, I think one more time. That I think we only played each other three times. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but yeah, that's the team that we're going with today. Smitting solid jobs. Tiam, Mumemi, uh, Tommy, Clotty, 
Tom's Fury Ross, Arab Renner, Carmo, Cristaldo and Huhovs. So, I mean, that team, to me, looks looks good enough. Um, I'm actually going to take some pressure off them. I'm just going to tell them to go and have fun. In this game, like I say, that Valmira game next up is going to be the crucial one, unless, obviously, they drop points today as well. Spartak's with the first chance and the first goal. It's James Asante heading home at the back post for his first goal of the season. And his uh, first goal at the club and question marks over the goalkeeper there who gets absolutely nowhere near it. Question marks over the defending as well because there's two players free at that back post to head home. And yeah, um, it's a little bit of a worry, isn't it? Tiem heads down to Cristal though. 1 2 with Tommy to get the ball back. And it's a poor cross in. And he wonders why he hasn't particularly been getting game time. You see, he just hasn't been performing. He's anxious at the moment. Our Buena here finds Solidjofs. Who stands a cross in. Headed clear though. And Abubakar gets there first. Moemi hesitated. And Delavu is in. It clips the outside of the post and goes wide. And <sighs> Yeah, I mean, that's not ideal, is it? The performance so far. Nervous. Anxious, anxious, free kick comes in, punch clear by the keeper. Clotty now. And I suppose this is what happens when players haven't particularly played too much. When they get put in for a game, obviously, they, they don't quite have that match fitness, but they don't also have the confidence. Um, Arab Bueno puts on the burners there, beats his man. Solid draws is fouled, and that's going to be a penalty. It looks questionable, but I think it was on the line. So, in the box. And Clotty doesn't miss. It's 1-1. Um, but, yeah, like, the mentality of some of the players as well. This sort of game is showing that some of them aren't quite capable of being out of the squad and coming back in. As we uh, level things up with 10 minutes to go in this first half. Still 0-0 in RFS Valmira. And we hopefully need to go and control this second half. We're going at half time 1-1. I'm going to thrash my arms and turn on far from pleased with that. And Cristaldo is going to come off for Dembo. And Muemi is going to come off for... Kaka. The last thing I want is a nervous centre back on the pitch. Kaka now with the ball at his feet finds Carmo. Fjordrovs to Puhovs. And we need to potentially look at putting that ball in behind for our Bueno. We saw in the, the move that led up to that penalty is his pace. Come to Tommy Fyodorovs. Can he find a cross? He comes to Dembo's head, who does find a cross. It's headed clear, but it's a misjudged header. I don't think he really got anything on it. It falls to Arabuena, who rifles that shot home for 2 1. We'll see here if the defender actually got anything on that header. Dembo's cross, and he didn't. He just completely mistimed the header. He jumped under the ball. It falls to Arabuena, who just lashes, really. Just lashes that. That whole volley into the back of the net. I'm also quite sorry if I'm not quite myself. I do seem to have a bit of a cold coming on. So, um, yeah, um, bunged up a little bit. It's early in the morning. That's why we need to go and take six points from these two games to, to cheer me up, to, to defeat the cold. Clotty. Finds Carmo, Arabuena. Finds Carmo, and that should have been free. And that's going to be the last bit of action for both of them, I think. Jose is going to come on for Carmo. Arabuena off for Stankus. And Solidovs off for Diego Inglesias. So that's going to be all five of our changes made here. We have a throw in, which was looped and smashed clear. Tiam brings that down. Takes his time, finds Clotty, and now Inglesius chips it forward. Fyodorovs 
Dembo, 3-1, game, set, and match. We're going to move to that low-intensity style now. Uh, Jose and Stankus have come on and are immediately complacent. But that's a great ball forward. The referee maybe had an impact on why he didn't hit that first time, but Dembo did. Use the defender to, to block the keeper's line of sight and finds that bottom corner for 3 1. Um, still 0 0 in RFS as well. Before, I don't quite know what his shot was there, but it comes straight into the keeper's hands. We immediately look downfield, even though we've got him on, you know, taking his time. But I'm just watching that. If RFS and Valmira draw, then we open up a 12 point lead. Stankus chips one towards Denver at the back post header for one. And um, if it wasn't over already, it's over now. Fyodorov did well to just run around the back of the defender. The defender caught sleeping. Dembo is free at the back post, and I've got absolutely no idea how he squeezed that header in between the keeper and the post. We instantly get straight into another highlight. We are going to praise them, though. Engelovsky into Adam. Bubakar hits one. Ooh, 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 ooh. That'd have been one of the best goals we've seen in this series. Had that phone into the back of the net. But that is full time and it's 4 1 here. I'm pretty sure it finished 0 0 over there as well. So that is very, very good for us. We've had a chance to, you know, give some of our key players an extended break. It did finish 0 0. We've opened a 12 point gap. Um, Yeah, he's not interested in contract talks. Didn't think so. Spartak now fall to the bottom of the league. Dembo, let's go and give him some praise. But we now have two days before that Valmera game, so there's absolutely no break really at all. Um, that happens pretty often. You can see that some of these moments are absolutely rammed, packed full of games. May, for example, but then you get July or June. And you just spread these games out, surely. Uh, but that's enough moaning about the schedule. We're coming back for Valmera in one second. So, for the Valmira game, I've come back to what I perceive to be our strongest 11. Smitting's in goal, Dan Pekerson, Tiam Kaka, Tommy Fyodorovs, Jonathan Delira, Tom's Fyodorovs, Stankus, Jose, Dembo, and Boadu up top. And um, a victory here, I know you probably shouldn't say this this early in the season, but a victory here will surely give us that league title. Surely. Um... So that's what we want to go in and do, try and get this wrapped up as early as possible and fully focus on the cup competition. We gave all of the players the day off between the game. They obviously did not. So that will probably be a, a, a little advantage for us as well. But we have a corner to defend and Gilmore heads just over the bar. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the tempo. and. Um, just try and move them all over the place. I just try and tire them out as much as possible. Tiam goes across to Kaka in the centre of defence. It brings it forward. Tommy Fyodorov's in acres of space. Finds Dembo. Can find a cross. Cuts back instead. Tommy does find a cross. It's looks clear. And to Peckerson's going to pick it up. Whip it back in. Bow his header. Oh, it's off the bar. That's a wicked header. So much power behind that from there. Um, Noah, by the way, I know our turnaround has been pretty fantastic from sort of mid-table to top of the league. But Noah only stayed in this league on aggregate. They lost the first game in the playoff as Bowden picks up his ball. Tries to hit one. He's blocked. Jose surely does find the back of the net. I thought the flag had gone up then. He hasn't gone up. He is 1-0. Stankus kept it alive, tried to pull it across, it was blocked. Bowdu's shot was also blocked, but the keeper dives at Jose. All he had to do really was then hit it on target. And he finds the back of the net. Um, but yeah, Noah, they were relegation playoffs, they're now up in third position. So they've had an incredible turnaround. Stankus dribbling at his man, across his block, down to Pexon's ball in. Dembo's head, he looked offside, but the flag has stayed down, it's gone wide anyway. 
probably should have done a lot better with that header. You see now our condition is pretty rapidly dropping though as well because we have the uh, higher tempo. Let's go back to lower. And we go in at half time, it's just 1-0. So they're well and truly still in this game. I'm going to tell them I'm not happy out there because the amount of chances that we are wasting. When you look at the statistics, we've had 18 shots, 19 shots, now 11 on target. We should be well and truly out of this game. Clear ahead. Tommy Fyodorov's running at his man. Finds a cross. Stankus knocks it down to Bowadu, brings it down, blocked. And similar to that first goal, Bowadu's shot is blocked. It falls to another player who then... All he has to do is hit the, the back of the net. And it's exactly what he does. Tommy Fyodorov's cross towards the back post. I mean, this was a great block, really. Perhaps a bit harsh on the defender. Goalkeeper obviously faked out by the block. Dives down. And uh, the ball is in the back of the net for 2-0. That's the second assist for Boadu. That was a wicked ball forward. I have no idea why that player decided to stick his head on it because that was coming at a rate of knots at him. And we have switched to the low intensity style. And uh, Valmir apparently has decided to start playing now. We are going to go make a couple of changes here in the 60th minute. Let's go and take off Dembo for Costaldo. Jose for Clotty and we'll keep it that. So what I just did, I just decided to sort by fitness. Everyone's playing pretty well, so we're just going to take off the, the players that are struggling the most. And Tiam can go off for Solidjovs. Kaka off for Miwemi. And then we'll make that final change in the 80th minute, I think. Croins finds Puhovs. I don't know if it is Puhovs, but that's why I just keep calling it. So that's that's what I'm going with. Wamba to Agimang, who does find the back of the net. And all of a sudden, they're right back in this. We're going to switch back to uh, that's the normal formation now. And this is where that low intensity, you know, backfires because we just don't get any pressure on. And it's a good finish, but the keeper has to be doing better with that chance. Has to be doing better. Let's go make that final change now, actually. Um, Tom's doesn't really have anyone we can take him off for. So Stankus is going to come off our bueno. Let's put that back to how it should be. Dan Supexen's throwing. Clotty brings it down. Pulls a cross in, but Cristaldo can't get on the end of it. Takes it away from... Tommy Fjordorov, but gives it in now. Cross in. Brody's header just wide as well. You would think they're a third. Would see that. Well, Cristaldo now is apprehensive. Let's shout some encouragement. Runken to Wamba. You see the, uh, the pressing. He's happening a lot more now. We're, we are now pressing the goalkeeper. A bit late there. Wamba looked offside, but he wins that header. Flag has stayed down, Williams cross, Wamba flicks on, it's scrambled in the six-yard box, but finally get it clear. Boadu could have played that pass inside, there was a man overlapping there, that which he could have found. But we're into stoppage time, are we going to see this out for a massive victory? Yes, we are. That is full time, it's 2-1, and we take a 15-point gap over them. 15 points. We're still unbeaten this season as well. And, um, yeah, I mean, that is huge. You can see the table there. 15 points over Valmira, 16 ahead of Lipadja, 17 over Noah. I think we're in a pretty good position here. Um, obviously, there's still plenty of football to be played. There is a total of 36 games. We do play each other four times, so... We're, we're not even halfway through yet, but I'm feeling pretty comfortable out, about this. And in tomorrow's episode, we're going to come back to that fourth round of the Cup and Vent Spielis as well. So if you have enjoyed this, please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here or returning and do enjoy what you see because it does help me out massively as well. 
Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.